Today I'm going to show you a strategy for subtracting that involves drawing pictures. So I have a subtraction problem here. 342 take away 189. Within this problem I'm starting with the larger number and I'm subtracting away the smaller number. Now I'm going to use my place value blocks to help me. And remember your place value blocks have hundreds which we'll call flats, tens which we'll call rods, and the ones we'll just call ones. Now to help me stay organized I like to draw my place value chart. So I start with my hundreds, and then next to that you have your tens, and then on the end you have your ones. So you have ones, tens, hundreds. Now, if you have the blocks themselves, you can drag them across, but I like to represent it as a square, a tally, and a dot. You start by drawing your biggest number. So here I have three hundreds. I have four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I have two ones. And from this number, I want to take away 189. Now, I want to start and I look at this 9, and I want to take away 9 ones, but I only have two ones. That's not good. So I'm going to do some trading. I'm going to take this 10 away, and I'm going to move it over to the ones, because I know within a 10 rod, there are 10 little ones. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I should be able to take away my 9, no problem. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It looks like I'm left with 3 left. 1, 2, 3. In my 10's column I want to take away 8. I have one, two, three, that's not enough. So I'm going to take away this hundred block here and I'm going to trade it. Notice I crossed it off because I've traded it. I've removed it from the hundreds family and put it into the tens family. I know that a hundred flat is worth ten rods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that I have all these tens here, it's easy for me to take away eight. One, two, three. Notice this one's already gone. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In the end, I'm just left with 3 left. Notice this guy was the one that I had traded over to the 1s. I couldn't subtract him out as the 8 because he was no longer there. He'd been moved here. So make sure that when you're subtracting away, you're only taking away the ones that have not already been crossed off. Now I'm just left with my 100s. I have 100 that I want to take away. I see I have 2 to choose from. So it's no big deal, I just cross one off, I'm left with one left. In the end, I end up with 100, three tens, and three ones, which is 133. I want you to try this problem in a similar way on your own. You can draw your hundreds as squares, your tens as lines or tallies or rods, and your ones as little dots. Start by drawing your place value chart. Draw your largest number first, because that's all you have to work with and then take away 200, 110, and 8 ones, doing any borrowing that you need. Go ahead and pause the video now, and you can resume when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see what you did. You should have started by drawing your place value chart. You should have your hundreds, your tens, and your ones. Now, which did you draw first? Did you draw your 407? or your 218. You should have drawn your 407. That's the larger number, and you want to draw your total amount first. In 407, I have four hundreds. One, two, three, four. I have no tens, so I just leave it blank, and I have seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I want to take away 218. First thing I like to do is try to take away those eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I only have seven. I can't take away eight. So I look to see my tens. Well, I don't even have any tens to borrow across. That means I'm going to have to go all the way over to the hundreds in order to do any trading. I'm going to cross this hundred out. And remember, he can only move one family over. So he's going to go to the tens family. This 100 was worth 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that still didn't solve the problem of the 1s. I still needed more 1s. But now I have a 10 that I can easily move over to the 1s family. I'm going to take this 10 and trade it over. He's going to become 10 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can see you have your 7 from before. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus your 10 extra. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, now I have plenty of 1s. I can easily take away my 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the end, I'm left with these 1s down here. And if you count them up, you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 1s. Now I want to take away my 1, 10. This is one 10 that I could take away. I'm left with all of these other 10s still remaining. If I count them up, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 10s. Now I need to take away my 200s. I can take this one away and this one away. I'm just left with this one all by himself. In the end, if I have 1 10 or 100, 8 10s, and 9 ones, I'm left with the number 189. If you got this correct, you can move on to the next activity in your learning center. If not, go ahead and watch this video again and try the problem again. Good luck.